welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a review of the new it cosmetics confidence in a foundation i did reach out to it cosmetics and they did send me two shades they asked me which shades that i think that i that would be a good match for me and i chose 425 rich natural and i chose 415 rich sand I think for today's video, I am going to be using the 425 Rich Natural. This is a oil-free foundation. It's supposed to be good for all skin types. It is long wear. It is weightless. It is full coverage. And they describe it as a velvet matte finish. You do get one fluid ounce of product in the package, which is about average for a foundation. The foundation does come in a frosted glass container and it also comes with a pump which is a plus for me I don't like pouring stuff on my hand this foundation comes in the five shade families which I am used to with it cosmetics light medium tan rich and deep but also within those five shade families it comes in 48 different shades which bravo for them for expanding their shade range i am going to kind of go over some of the things that they claim and like i said um it is full coverage it is a velvet matte finish it is suitable for all skin types it is long wearing it's supposed to last all day long i don't know if long all day long means 24 hours. I do know that they do claim 24 hours of hydration. It is supposed to cover your blemishes, redness, dark spots, and imperfections. And as you can see, I have sort of some age spots here. And the older I get, the more of these little spots pop up. So we will see if it will cover that. I also have some darkness here up under my eyes that I want to see if it covers without me using a concealer this foundation does have a lot of the anti-aging ingredients that we are used to from it cosmetics it has ceramides peptides hydrolyzed collagen and hyaluronic acid it also says that it has a marine derived fish ingredient so if you have any fish allergies or anything like that i would say be careful with using this foundation we're going to go ahead and try the foundation now the way they say to use the foundation of course is to shake it up before you use it they recommend that you use either confidence in a cream um, moisturizer or if you have that's if you have like dry skin and if you have normal to combination skin they recommend that you use the confidence in a gel lotion i have combination slash oily skin um, so like my skin gets oily here like right now it is perfectly fine it feels nice and balanced but I do get oily here and on my nose and sometimes right in here so I'm going to apply the confidence in a gel lotion first I'm going to let it set in like they say and then we're going to go on with the um, the application of the concealer and if you wanted to know the confidence in a gel lotion it is relatively new to the confidence line and it is $36 you can also get a little travel size one I believe yep they have one that's 0 0.5 fluid ounces and it's $12 if you just want to try it and see if it works for you they also recommend using a brush um, called the Heavenly Skin Hugging Foundation Brush or Brush Number 707. I do not own Brush Number Number 707. I have Brush Number 704, and I think that this is going to use this is going to work perfectly fine. So I'm going to use that to um, apply the foundation. They also recommend that you set it with the Bye Bye Pores the pressed powder. I have that, but um, I usually only use that under my eyes. I don't use it over my entire face. So what I am going to use is the CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. And this is what the packaging looks like. And I have it in the shade Deep. 
I'd rather use this because it does come in a shade that is closer to my skin tone so I don't have that fear of having that white cast on my face. Also, I want to say that this foundation, unlike their CC creams and their um, Bye Bye foundations and things like that, does not have SPF in it. FYI. So, we are going to start off with the Confidence in a Gel Lotion here. And I am just going to do one pump and I'm going to put it all over my face. I probably did not need that entire pump. But my skin is feeling sort of dry. Uh, we have a little bit of makeup here. I struggled today. Like I used a palette that I just recently got and that I will do maybe a video on. I started trying to do the application of the video, the, the um, eyeshadow today, and my camera wasn't having it. So it kind of cut off on me. All right, so this is applied, and while this is soaking in, I am just going to I'm going to start out with one pump. I usually try to do um, like half of my face with a brush and half of it with the the Real Technique sponge. This time I am only going to be using the brush because they recommended applying it with a brush. So I am going to put one pump and this is what one pump looks like and I think they do say one to two pumps should cover your entire face. And I want this to sort of settle in. Under my eyes have been a complete nightmare. I'm going to put like a little bit more and it doesn't help that like I tried to do my eyeshadow three times a day and had to wipe my eyes and are like under my eyes and they feel so sensitive and they look so red all right so I am going to go ahead and get started I am going to do like I always do I'm just going to lightly sort of mist my brush and we are going to go ahead and dot this all over my face. I think I did try this on the other day. So you'll see some pictures of the wear of this foundation um, sort of throughout this video. But I'm just going to show you now what it applies like. And I am looking down in my mirror. When I tried it out, I tried both colors or both shades rather. And you can see that that covered up those little spots that I have on my face. It is actually doing a really good job under my eyes. And the shade is a pretty good match. I might put a dot of the rich sand in it when I wear it out. But this is what it is looking like as I apply it. And I might put a little bit more on my forehead, but because this is so full coverage, I think that one pump is enough for my whole face. You can still sort of see the spots here, which I don't mind at all. I feel like my under eye circles are covered very well. And it is indeed drying down to a velvet finish. So, so far, so good when you first put it on. This is what it is looking like with just one pump of the foundation on my face I am going to just put just not even a whole pump and this pump does allow you to control how much you pump out I just want to put like a little bit here a little bit here maybe to cover up those spots there and I think maybe a little bit more on my chin since I 
I have it and we'll continue to brush it buff it buff it in with the brush my chin like around my mouth here tends to be a little bit darker than the rest of my face I think it does a good job of sort of making that match the rest of my face a little bit better I am I think um, when I read the instructions it did say sort of buff it in the first time and when you do the second application it sort of stipple it so that is what I am trying to do here and I want to kind of spread it out more evenly so I don't see like more foundation in one spot than I do in the other one so just kind of going back over the rest of my face with it And I do always come down my neck a little bit with any foundation that I use. I do kind of come down my neck a little bit because I don't want that line of demarcation. This is it. This is what the foundation is looking like. They do recommend that you set it, so I am going to set it. When I did wear it on Friday, I just did sort of a wear test because I was just kind of hanging around in the house. So I did just want to do like a wear test. This brush is just like a Kabuki brush. It's called the Kabuki Powder Ball. And this is from several years ago when they had it as a sort of four piece collection. So this is not available anymore, but they do have a long handled brush with this ball on it that they suggest. They do suggest that you use the ball brush to apply the powder. So we are going to powder. And um, what I will say is that this is indeed a full coverage foundation. I don't usually like to use full coverage foundations. So what my recommendation is, if you are like me and on an everyday basis, you don't like to wear full coverage foundation or you don't need it, mix maybe a half a pump of this with a half a pump of this and you'll have a, like a tinted moisturizer. But this is what it is looking like so far and I will tell you that when I wore it on Friday just kind of hanging out around in the house I did like a little janky experiment like I turned a little I have a little space heater in my room even though I think the room was already kind of warm I wanted to see what the foundation would do if I turned the heat on and I will put a picture right here at about five hours later my skin was a little oily. I will admit that it was a little oily. All like right here where I told you I normally get oil, it was oily. And then I have another picture where I blotted and you see what was on the blotting sheet. A lot of what I saw on the blotting sheet was the foundation and a little bit of oil. I will tell you when this when you put this foundation on, it never really feels like it dries down. It sort of feels tacky like I can feel it like I I kind of they say it's weightless but I can kind of feel like I have foundation on my face and as I touch it even though I set it and I did set it here I believe I set it all here it still feels kind of wet and you do kind of get foundation on your fingers so do know that this foundation does transfer so I showed you the pictures where what it looked like like five hours later and after I blotted and then after I blotted and I showed it like seven hours later I believe I did I, I, the amount of time is on the pictures I don't remember I don't think that it, I wouldn't say that it got any more oily once I blotted it and I kind of just chilled out it just kind of like settled and then that was that it didn't get any more oily so if you have truly truly oily skin even though this is an oil free foundation I do believe that you are going to get oily wearing this foundation I on the other hand don't have a super problem with that I didn't turn into a complete oil slick and then once I blotted five hours later I was okay for the rest of the day I didn't see like a bunch of oil 
unlike what some people were saying, like I've seen some reviews, I didn't notice that the foundation slid off my face. And so I can't, I can't make that claim that it's just so oily that it slides off your face. It lasted all day long for me, except for, you know, having to blot just that one time. And then it's at the end of the day, I just kind of washed my face and that was that. I think that this is a pretty decent foundation. I am just going to say if you have oily skin, um, just, con just consider not using it. Also, if you have any allergies to any fish or anything, seafood, anything, like be careful. Like some people have like shellfish allergies or whatever. I would still be careful with considering purchasing this foundation. The foundation, I forgot to say, is $32 and you can purchase it on itcosmetics.com. I have also seen it at Ulta. I am going to look right quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I just wanted to kind of check real quick. So it is available on itcosmetics.com. It's available at Sephora and it is available at Ulta. I have been stalking the QVC website. It is not yet available on QVC. I am not quite sure that it will be available on QVC. I don't have that inside track, unfortunately. But that is it, you all. That is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation, my review of it. Thank you once again to It Cosmetics for working with me and sending me this foundation. I appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.